Good evening everyone, and welcome to The Late Late Show with Free News Leavers 2022. Thank you for tuning in. We're your hosts, Ed and Holly. You've joined us on a very, very special night. The final episode of the show's 2022 season. We've got a jam-packed episode for you tonight. We're so glad, glad you guys could make it. Honestly, Holly, I'm surprised you're even here, since you, Alex, and Millie can't even make it to registration on time. I think even Alex would agree that we're always late because of him. Luckily though, today Jack gave me a lift to school so I could get here on time, but it was an interesting car ride. Take a look. Morning guys. Hello, uh, uh, Hi. Uh, Hi. Hello, hello. You alright? Right, yeah. Morning, Eddie. Morning, guys. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm alright, sir. Ready, ready? Yes. See that sun, please. Thank you oh my god, thank you so much. Oh, oh, he got one as well. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, lads. Should we get a bit of music going? Yeah, yeah I sure. Think. I think that was right. Bit of tea swizz. Tea swizzy. This is such a good song. Oh, I love this song. We were both young when I first saw you. I close my eyes and the flashback starts. I'm standing there. On the balcony, <laughs> summer air. See the lights, see the party, the ball games. See you make your way through the crowd and say hello. Little did I know that you were Romeo, you were throwing pebbles, and my daddy said, Stay away from Juliet. Please don't go And I said Romeo, take me somewhere we can be alone 
In a bit, guys. Work hard. hard. Have fun. We'll do. See you I'm ready for a day of school. I can tell yeah. you that. Are you? Yeah. After that, yeah. I bet you are. Cheers, right. Charlotte. Right. See ya. Thanks, Nevertheless, Jack. it's been a ride. Ned. It's been a pleasure, sir. Oh, Left fist bumps. Where are the you? fist bumps? Oh, thanks. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, Woo! yeah, baby. What a great start to the morning that was. It's lovely to see Richie, Gus, and Alex putting their heart and soul into that song. <laughs> Agreed. What a performance from those three. God knows why Wissam had a cone though. Classic Wissam. I'm just glad my day has started off way better than it did yesterday. Why? What happened yesterday? Just as I was working alone after school in the sick form centre, I heard someone in the cafe, but Helen had already gone. Oh my word. So, do you recognise any of these students? I was working in the sick form centre, so I didn't see his face, but I heard him. He was singing along to the radio in the cafe. Do you remember what he was singing? I think it was that song, I Want It That Way. Yeah, Backstreet Boys. I'm familiar. Okay. Uh, number one, could you please sing the opening to I Want It That Way? Really? Okay. You are my fire. Number two, keep it going. The one desire. Number three. Believe. When I say Number four I want it that way Tell me why Ain't nothing but a heartache Tell me why Ain't nothing but a mistake Now number five I never wanna hear you sing Woo! I want it that way Oh, chills! Little chills It was number five Number five stole all the sausage rolls. Oh god, I forgot about that part. I can't believe Harry would do that. I know! I've got to be honest, some Topshop sausage rolls are a big highlight of my time at Freeman's. What's one of your main highlights? I think it has to be the cookies from the old tuck shop. Or the Susos. Agreed. Those Susos were incredible before the unfortunate rebranding. Any idea what they're like nowadays? I haven't actually tried the new ones. But, luckily, we put the newly branded Susos through the ringer with an honest re review from some of the boys. Take a look. Hello and welcome to the official 2022 Suso review. Enjoy. Here we have the lemon and lime, one of your five day Suso. On second, we have the forest fruits, one of your five a day. I mean, look at the colour. Look at the colour of the lemon. Cheers. Cheers, not yet. I'm, I'm not quite sure what to say. <laughs> I reckon lemon and lime calls for a great time, so. Okay. Cheers. 
Oh, that is so much better. Hey, but that's how you like it. Yeah, you like that. The previous Suso lemon and lime flavour, mm. without a doubt better. Um, maybe biased because I, I, I did love them back in the day. Still good. Of course, it's always been um, after the unfortunate rebrand. Enough being around the bush, boys. Out of five. I'm going to go for a two out of five. It's harsh, I know, but with the misleading marketing and the poor flavour, quite frankly, mm. two out of five is fair. I'm going for, I'm going for a 2.9. Uh, 1.7 is the disgrace. disgrace. Onto the decider. Lemon and lime. I'm going to give lemon and lime a solid 4.2. Solid 84%. 84%. Yeah. Quick maths, mate. I'm going for a 3.9 out of 5. Could be a bit less bitter for my liking. I like a bit of a sweet lemon and lime, but you know, it's a good start. Is that what you like me? Mm. Of course. Yeah. Firstly, I'm going to rate it uh, <laughs> 4.1 out of 5. I had high expectations. And I can thankfully say that they were met. Adam might not be a big fan of the bitter taste. I like the sweet jet. No, like Kungpo. Suso, you have outdone yourself. <laughs> because it was disappointing, I don't think this one deserves to be intact, physically. Someone can please read that. Hope you enjoyed our Suso review. Have a good rest of the evening. <laughs> Some interesting moments there. Yes, there definitely seems to be something going on between Iqbal and Jack. Anyway, uh, as we're all leaving soon, we thought it would be rude not to ask some of the unanswered questions that we've had throughout our time here at Freeman's. Luckily, I hit the streets of Freeman's to ask our students about some burning topics. <laughs> Have you actually found Mr. Pryor's jokes funny? Um, no. So, Georgie, do you find Mr. Pryor's jokes funny? No. For a fiver, sing your favourite church hymn. Shine, oh, Jesus. No. Please, can you sing your favourite um, church hymn? <laughs> <laughs> Can you sing your favourite church hymn for us? Cheers. Yeah. Come, O ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. For a yep. fiver, sing your favourite church hymn. <clears throat> Don't build your house on the sandy land. Don't, Don't build, build it too near, near the shore. shore. How many tours this year has Mr. Parkin asked you to do? One. One? Abby, you're a prefect. Fifteen, I reckon. Fifteen Jesus tours. Christ. Yes. Tom's calves or McKee's calves? Tom's calves. Yeah! Mr. McKee's calves or Tom Hardiman and Evans's calves? Go to Mr. McKee, I'm afraid. Ah. What does height equals? Wrong! What does height equals? Up. Oh. What does height equal? Height equals time. Um. What does height equal? Time. What does height equal? Time. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> Who's your favourite relationship in the year? I like ice cream. Billy on the street. Really got some great singing going on there. Agreed. Voices of Angels. We've learnt a lot of very valuable things at Freeman's, and those songs are definitely one of them, as well as the importance of online safety. Yes, thanks to those very interesting PSHE lessons. We now know that the internet can be very misleading, especially when using online dating websites, as people can easily pretend to be someone they're not. To bypass this problem, we thought that we'd help out the students of Freemans by bringing Tinder to real life. Take a look. Hello, my name's Estelle, I'm 17 and I'm from Epsom. Yeah, Prakash, 18. I think you're really pretty. I love your hair, love your eyes, smile, everything. <laughs> You're right, darling. I'm really happy we're all here in our suits today because I love a lass in uniform. <laughs> um, hi, Estelle. My name's Ruben. I'm 18. Roses are red. I just wanted to check. You look so lovely today. Can you give me a peck? <laughs> hi, my name's Jules. I'm 18 and I'm from Epsom. Hi, I'm Kishan. I'm 18 from Ashdead. Hello, I'm Mark. I'm seven. I'm 18. 
from Fletcher. How are you doing, Julia? I'm doing good, thank you, Mark. I'd like to ask you a question. I'd like to see Could I be the Romeo to your Juliet? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jala, I'm 17. You must be yoga because I want to spoon you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Johnny and I'm 18 from Fetcham. Hi, my name's Lily, I'm 18 and I'm from Banstead. Is your dad a pilot? Because my heart is taking flight. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Zoe, I'm 17 from Oxshot. Men, Fortnite. <laughs> Hello, Jonathan. My name's Anna New, 13, engaged from Bangladesh. I'm no geologist. But I can sure rock your world. Go on then. <laughs> <laughs> What's just happened? <laughs> well, that was interesting. At least our leaders were able to practice their socialising for when they have to meet new friends at university. It's true that Freeman sets you up for the real world. Completely agreed. Can you believe we're actually leaving? It's actually ridiculous. For some of us, it's been 11 years. Wow, it's been a proper ride. Thank you all ever so much for the memories. And to finish off, let's look over some of the times we've all shared together. But first, here's a message from the headmaster. So here we are. Um, it's always really sad to say goodbye to the upper sixth at the end of uh, their careers at Freeman's, whether they've been here for a short time or a long time. Um, but I think this year is particularly sad because, um, you know, obviously we're all full of admiration for the way that you have coped with three incredibly difficult years. Um, I'm wishing you all the very best, especially in the next few weeks, uh, keeping everything crossed for you. Um, I know you've been working really hard. I know that this is a challenge unlike uh, any challenge than, that an upper sixth has had really because um, you haven't had the dry run of GCSEs. Really thinking of you. Uh, thanks so much for everything you've contributed to the school in your sixth form careers. Uh, I know it's not been straightforward. I know there haven't been maybe as many opportunities as I would have liked uh, for you to have had in various areas but you've, you've really kept the faith and done really really well um, i hope you do so well in the next few weeks i hope you do so well in the future stay in touch with us um, and keep learning and leading and making a difference take care hey you guys well done for suffering the uh, post covid years of sixth form i hope you have a wonderful time in the summer and i'm sure you do brilliantly at university Goodbye, Upper Six. <laughs> Enjoy your summer. Best of luck with your universities. Yeah, we'll miss you all. You've been a fantastic year group. Have a great summer. Class of 22, you were the best. I will really miss you. Well done. Good luck. Have a good summer and hope it all goes well in the results. And <laughs> Um, yeah, and enjoy university, keep in touch. Well, Upper Six, the end has come for your school days. I really wish you all the best, whatever you go on to do. Um, obviously, I hope you're all going to go and study particle physics. I suspect that many of you may not. But anyway, just all the best for your future. Bye, Bye. everyone! Right, we're going to really miss you, Upper Six. You've been a fantastic geography group to teach, uh, despite not being able to go to Barcelona, which would have been the trip of the year. We've really enjoyed everything about all the activities that we've done, haven't we? Yes, I mean, obviously the highlight was going to Epsom in a very wet rain. Yes. day, yes. yes, but no, it's been amazing teaching you and all the very best. I've really enjoyed teaching you, best of luck for the future, hope the exams go well, hope you love the rest of your life. I'll miss some of you, I'll miss most of you, in fact I'll miss all of you, I do like. Uh, it's been great um, teaching you, a lot of fun, makes economics a lot of fun and business studies a lot of fun for me, so goodbye, good luck, see you all again soon, bye. Goodbye Upper Six, wishing you all the luck in the future, it's been lovely knowing some of you and teaching you and I wish you all the very best, so au revoir et bonne chance. Just to say, I'm going to miss you all very, very much. Come and see me when you can, and good luck with your future successes. Bye. Hi, Upper Six. Um, really upset that some of you are actually leaving, and I shan't see some of you again. We've had the amazing Millie Bors and uh, James Percival down in DT with us this year. So I'm really going to miss you guys. And on the cricket front, I shall miss some of you as well. Especially Keyshan, who's been a terrific captain and took what was the best catch I've seen for a long, long time on, on Saturday. But listen to all of you, stay safe, good luck in your exams, and even better luck when you get to university. Bye guys. Upper six, what am I going to do without you? Who am I going to nag when people don't turn up for prefect duties? What will I do when I can't tell people to tuck their shirts in? How am I going to measure what the correct length of skirt is? 
I think I'll manage somehow. It's just not going to be the same without you. Goodbye and good luck. See you later, Upper Six. Bye, Upper Six. All the very best. And Ed, no, we can't play the pirate game. And Ned, don't be late and tuck that shirt in. Okay, everyone, I hope you have a great uh, future. It's been really lovely working with you. And in the Irish, blessing, Gunairi and Boharlath. Look after yourselves and stay safe. Up at six, I hope you have a fantastic summer holidays. You've been an absolute pleasure to teach uh, throughout my whole time that I've been here at Freeman's. I wish you all the best of luck. Um, and thank you very much for everything, guys. Uh, hi, Upper Six. Um, obviously, wishing you the very best uh, when you leave school. Um, it's been a real pleasure getting to know you uh, as you're head of year in the upper school, and then obviously working with a lot of you in the, on the sports field. Uh, you'll be sadly missed, but uh, we do wish you the very best. Thank you. This is my final opportunity to say to an upper six goodbye, and it has been a real pleasure to get to know you over the last two years. Good luck, upper six. Well, at last, we are here. We've reached the end, up sixth of 2022. Wishing you all the very best. You really have been a fantastic year for the last couple of years. Resilient, teamwork to the end. Best of luck.